beer for your health, a slashing of beer benefits, and Ludacris' new chicken and beer restaurant. I am your host, Chris Hardy, and this is the Straight Beer News for the week ending November 20th, 2016. A recent study was published this week, one with shocking results. It turns out that beer is good for your health. The study was conducted by Penn State University and it followed a number of people um, who drank both, who drank at various amounts. So there was a group that drank moderately, a, drank, a group that drank heavy, and a, drink, and a group that drank none at all. And so over the course of the study they followed these people and they wanted to know in, sp in particular about their good cholesterol levels. So good cholesterol is something that as you age, it declines naturally and usually at a, at a sustained rate. So what they wanted to see was what impact good cholesterol had on beer drinkers. It turns out that as you drink in a moderate level, that that decline slows um, as opposed to those who drink in a heavy amount where the decrease is not slowed or reduced at all and same for teetotalers believe it or not so there is this happy medium that you can find that will slow the decrease of your good cholesterol over your age now what good cholesterol does is it helps your body to prevent the risk of heart disease and stroke so this is why we need to have good cholesterol in our bodies and why this finding is important news for all of us now, according to the study, this moderate amount of beer intake is for men one to two pints a day, and for women around one, between half and one pint per day. And they say that this is where the, the nice happy medium comes in, where you're maximizing the reduction uh, or loss of the good cholesterol. And this report, this study, backs up a 2000 study that was performed by Harvard. So it kind of reinforces that maybe beer is not bad for you and in good and is in fact good for you in certain cases. Now the one caveat to this study was that it was performed with Chinese adults only. So the researchers have suggested further research and to see if this reduction of good cholesterol uh, is... Uh, the same across all races and across all geographies. So maybe uh, more news to come on that later. But in the meantime, enjoy your moderate drinking of beer. This week, the Canadian brewer Labatt made an announcement. They, they were starting to cut back on pension benefits for retirees. And in particular, the specific benefit that they're pulling back is the beer benefit. And so retirees were um, able to receive a card after their service that would be good for, depend on, depending on the location, it could have been a case of beer a week or a six pack a week for the rest of their lives. In addition to that, uh, upon their death, their spouses could continue uh, benefiting from the card. So it was a very unique program that they had and that they are now saying that they have need to slash. And this had been a benefit for around 50 years. The Labette had started off as a, a family company, a family uh, brewer, as most do. Uh, but over time, um, grew and grew and became to the point that it became a large corporation employing many thousands of people. And uh, in recent times, it's been uh, purchased and now it is currently owned by AB InBev. And so this, for old, long-time uh, employees, this is a drastic change and something they're not too happy with. Uh, first of all, seeing the change of culture from a family-owned brewery to a now a um, ownership under a multinational corporation, uh, the culture has changed such a way that, it, that it's not the same feel for those people who have been working there for 20, 30 or more years. The company says it's a, a cost-cutting measure uh, because the uh, cost of ri the rising health costs of retirees has gotten to the point where they can no longer sustain the current path. Uh, they looked at their benefits uh, across the industry and found that they're pretty competitive without the the beer uh, the, the beer a week benefit, uh, which is. Uh, which is a shame for the, the, the re retirees or the current workers who are looking to retire because they have seen themselves, because of this benefit, they have seen themselves as more or less uh, brand ambassadors. They would show up to family functions with you know, a couple of cases of Labatt, something that they were very proud of and that they had helped to brew at some point during their careers and their working lives. Now, of course, the union had comments on this, uh, stating such that 
it's a, a nickel and diming of their, their benefits that really the, the beer program didn't cost all that much in the end. And true enough, um, Molson did away with their beer benefits. They had a similar benefit program for, the re, for their retirees. And in 2009, they did away with the, the same program. And they mentioned in their, uh, in, in their announcement in 2009 that they had 3,000 retirees and who were taking advantage of the program and that they were expected a savings of about a million dollars. One million dollars. Uh, which really to the, the case that uh, Labatt, um, uh, the Labatt Union has kind of shows it's not a large amount of money that they're missing out or saving. So uh, I guess it's a sad, a sad day for the Labatt retirees. It's just a sad benefit to lose in the end. But it's, it's the nature of the times we live in. So a new restaurant opened up this week in Atlanta. It's in Concourse D or Gate D of the Atlanta airport. And it is owned by rapper and movie star Ludacris. The Luda, the one whose pinky is valued over 300,000. The restaurant is going to be called Chicken and Beer, uh, named after the album, the third album of Ludacris uh, of the same title. It's going to serve um, Southern comfort cooking, chicken and waffles and grits and greens. Uh, and there's also a, a beer portion as well, which uh, I will get to. Uh, the announcement was made earlier this week by Ludacris himself on his Instagram page, where he showed a video, and he's fully excited, as you'll see, and uh, making a tour of the uh, of the restaurant and introducing the employees that are going to be there. So there you go, everybody. It took me three years, but it's finally coming to fruition. Anything that's worth waiting for is worth having. And we are finally here, chicken and beer. I've seen it come from my third album, triple platinum album, all the way to a restaurant, Concourse D, D5. We open tomorrow, November 17th, in the busiest airport in the world, Hartsfield. I'm talking about great food, great drinks, great energy, and my employees are the best employees in the world. So now regarding the beer part, uh, sources say that it will be all locally sourced beer. Uh, for example, Terrapin and Sweetwater are the, the names that stand out. And uh, it looks like it'll be craft beer, uh, essentially, along with the, uh, the home south uh, cooking. So I guess, literally, we can say now that Ludacris is filling cups like Double D. Once again, guys, thanks for watching. That'll do it for this week. This was November 20th, 2016. I am Chris Hardy, the host of Straight Beer News. Remember, if you like what I'm doing, please give me a thumbs up. Also, if you want to see any of my past videos, on the left hand of the screen, you'll see last week's video. You can click on it and review. Uh, also, to the right will be a, a playlist of the past news uh, over the past month. Also, below the big S that you see, the old English style S, uh, you can click on that to subscribe. Please do so, I'd love to have you uh, and uh, receive your input. If you'd like to follow me on the social media, you can do that. I am on Twitter, at Straight Beer. Also, I'm on Instagram and Untapped. You can look for those links to find me. They'll be down in the description below. Uh, also in the description will be the links to any of the news items that I discussed today that you can click on and read through for yourselves. And that'll be it, guys. Thanks for watching. Have a great week. Take care.